You're doing really well. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Considering you're not looking where you're going, you've got that pixie walk again. Pixie walk. <laughs> that was funny. It's getting better because it used to be a gay walk. <laughs> oh, sorry, not to say that. Uh. <laughs> I've got visions of you doing that pixie. You try to scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on this way, doggies. He'll have a heart attack if we go round again. Oh, we've videoed all that. Look at that. You don't trip over it. And the gate dead one time. Hmm. Oh, give me shade. I'm tempted to jump in the river myself, you know. I'll get that on video then. <laughs> Is that right? Whoa. I'm gonna biceps I believe Popeye when I get this lot done. <laughs> what do you think, Olive? How funny. I didn't husband used to call me Olive. Really? Yeah, he did. We, we used to have this thing, Popeye and Olive. It's really weird that. Well, I meant it in a nice way. You're going to have some editing to do on this. This is not going to be rushed out in the day, I'll tell you. And it's too hot to sit in that bleeding caravan to do it. Oh, look, another gate. We're nearly there now. Crying. Come on. Come on, Penny, I'm sure you can get over this bloody gate. Shall I open it for you? I'll open it for you as well. If you'd be so kind. It's not a kissing gate, you wish. Oh, it's not running. Oh. oh! It's going on forever. I thought that was the last one. So somewhere on this path she would have been found, we guessed. Again, some else would put us right, I'm sure. It wasn't far up from the road. No. So, I mean, I'm going with our first presumption of where the gate was. This oh, next yeah. gate. There's another gate. <laughs> I don't know, like, but I'm sure that Miranda girl may know. Yeah, as I said, she does walks up to it and back, so... Yeah. If you're really keen, I think she's on Facebook, isn't she? Um. Yeah, but it's it's like a group or something. Oh, is it? Isle of Man Heritage Walks or something like that. I'm sure if you type in Miranda Farragher, you'll find her. Yeah. Well worth doing it, I think. Yeah, but I, do you know what? I'm actually tempted to have a go myself. Just because she'll know a lot more than what I know. Yeah. Probably should have done it before this, really. Well, if she knows who the real murderer was. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, because here's the gate. Well, we stopped videoing for a bit because the track is very much the track. Save me tape. And we're not sure, and of course, we're guessing really, but we suspect it's somewhere around here that she would have been found. There's a gate here for a reason. And at the end of that track, we're... Roxy! Yeah, the road's just down there, and it's just a little way up, so... And the road is just about 100 yards from here. So it said it was a bit way up, but again, I'm sure the other folks out there will know better than us where it was done. So we're going to go down now just to, to, to the road and see what we can do with going out to the beach. Is 
There's nothing that marks a spot at all, is there? No, you would have thought, you know, because such a... But maybe there is and we don't know. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. As they say, those who need to know will know. Good hike, folks. It's a stony, plenty of water. Roxy, wait. Penny. Roxy. Roxy, you know, don't you, huh? You know. And there's the road, folks. It was built in 1899 by Francis Morton of Garstang. 50 feet above the road and 180 feet long. Right. It's longer than you think, then, isn't it? It is, yeah. I never noticed it. How long it is. It's just the bridge they found a little kitty under. Yeah, in a brown paper bag in 1946. All right. Yeah, it was adopted off island. Was it? Mm. How old was it when it was found? I think it was six days. All oh, right. And survived in a paper bag. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? We do that on the way back. There's the old um, reservoir that's still up there. Well, we just leisurely go. Yeah. We'll walk it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll take, be right. this, take this off the count, off the stand because it's hard work. Right. Miles to Douglas? Huh. No, it's uh, oh, so it's 15. 15 miles. XV, yeah, be 15 miles to Douglas from here, and all Roman numerals just God. off the road. There's a little footpath on the right. Eventually, you end up at the beach. Those lovely Balur arches. Down at what's called the Balur arches. Really nice. Yeah, we're going to go to the Blue Arches and have our lunch. Well deserved. Boo! <laughs> See, folks, what I put up with. <laughs> you didn't even jump. I'm too busy looking at my feet. I'm wearing some glasses today, which are like a bifocal. And they're a nightmare because everything looks bigger. In fact, that reminds me of a story. What's that? What story? A fella went to the toilet to have a wee with his new glasses on. <laughs> when he came back, his mate says, You've peed yourself. How on earth do you have new glasses? He said. I had a look at it, he said. I didn't recognise it, it didn't look like mine, so I put it away. <laughs> oh dear. And I've lost my glasses today. Well, I should look better now then. You look lovely. See, hey. <laughs> so it's a plus, folks. Slightly overgrown. Ouch! Bloody horse flies and nettles. What a combination. Pricked everywhere, but it's not useful. 
So this little river, what's this called? Carl, do we know? Um, I assume Balua. Wet. Wet river. Yeah. It's probably Balua River. Again, some of you put us right, I'm sure. Ouch. open. Could have gone that way. <laughs> it wasn't open the other day we came down, was it? It was it was closed when we came last. Because a tree had fell or something. Damn. Mum, Penny. We're coming to the end of our little walk today. We're ending up in the Blue Arches, it's called. And as we're going down here, we visited Blue Church. Do we not, Carla? Huh? Blue Church. Oh, yeah. We visited that before when we were here. We did, we? That, that was really nice. And, uh, really nice. It's open one day a week, I think. Sunday. Is it? Yep. And the folks are really. Okay, but you're going around, it's private. But it is worth a visit. We have um, like a donation box. Hey, there's something there, look. Oh, yeah. I've never seen that before. Ooh, lovely. Ah, oh, beautiful. So there we are, the famous Balua arches. Oh, I've got a dog in each arch. I thought you were lucky that. I didn't say dog in then, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll add that in after. Yeah, yeah. You're going in the water. So we walk out now to the sea. Tides well out, bed's nice and warm. Oh, oh beautiful. Come on, Roxy, get in there. Yay! She's in. Did you get it? Come on, Penny. You need to go in. She's not gonna go in, is she? Dozy dog. Penny, in you go. Well, that was a steep old hike up to the reservoir. Never been up here before, Carla. You regularly? I have actually been up here a few times. Have I you? like it, yeah. It's especially in the autumn. And when the colours and the leaves change. We'll have to come back when you've had a little rest. Yeah, I'll show if we get home before that. <laughs> Penny, Penny, come here. Yeah, we've been down to um, the archers. Carla showed me a shortcut along the beach. It ended up in four foot of water. <laughs> As usual, I still listen to her. I think I'd learn. No, but you do always say I'm right. And I just like the trust, it's lovely. You you enjoyed it. And all three animals in the water. Penny swimming, not you yet. Yeah, first time Penny's been in for a swim. She had no idea what she was doing. I splashed a couple of bits of my body. It shouldn't have been splashed with cold water. It's another story. <laughs> you wouldn't let me splash you though. Well, not there. Not that much of a sport. So, what else have we got to talk about? Oh, the pier. We went to the pier a few weeks ago and walk out here. You need to go and have a look at it. They've got planks there you can actually buy. Isn't that right? £75 for a, a plaque, but you're, it's your plank across the thing, yeah. and then you, you put your own words in a plaque. I think it's brilliant. That's a great idea, I mean, at it, all. it funds the um, mending of it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And when they were showing us how they were doing it, and it's all done by volunteers, which is quite amazing. And the little engine has got a Ford Corset V4 engine in it. <coughs> it's an old Ford car. And of course, Blue Glen itself is quite an attraction. Um, there's Sultan's Galore in there, there's history. Just a great place to spend a day. It's a shame it's it so hot. It has been. A, it's been a a long hot day, but Worth it. we did know it was going to take a while today. Yeah, we did. Yeah, 
And we had some nice butties with frog spawn in. Did. First we, day of frog spawn. We had a cup of tea in the swimming pool. Far too hot for it. I know, yeah, let's get a hot cup of tea. Yeah, a really good idea. <laughs> had to go sit in the toilet then in the, in the loo for a little while to cool down. So we're now halfway up. Behind us here is the old reservoir building, if you can see it. And behind that is the old reservoir. And when was the reservoir actually resurrected, do we know, or built? I don't know the original one, I don't know. Um, I know this one was 1884 that it was completed. Oh, so this one here? Yeah. All right, that's the one that's got 18 million gallons. 17 million. 17 You're million. You're nearly there, so it's all right. All right. So, it's okay. Uh, found <laughs> it today. We walked around last months ago looking for a reservoir. Never found it. Very pretty. Very pretty. I'll show some footage of it. So now we're going to take the track here, at least vertical, up to the uh, Goose Neck, back to where we came from. Past Old Neil's house. Past Old Neil's house, which is now privately owned. Yep. So where will we do the walk and talk part of this video?